In this video, I am going to show how to assemble a dual gear extruder. This extruder is a nice off the shelf upgrade for a lot of printers like the Ender 3, the CR10, or any other similar machine. A lot of times when I find upgrades like this that are cheap and easily available, uh, it always confuses me a little bit why I can't find uh, a simple video showing how the assembly actually goes together. It can be pretty intuitive, but I feel like there should be instructions for this sort of thing. This is also the extruder that I picked out for the Tiny Belt uh, printer that I'm looking to launch on Kickstarter in the near future. Um, and so I will be showing how to assemble it and attach it to the 3D printed mount that goes on the Tiny Belt. I hope you find this video useful. So to assemble this extruder, you're going to need some hex keys, the extruder kit, a stepper motor, and whatever your stepper motor will be mounted to. Let's open up the extruder kit, which has a couple anodized aluminum parts and a whole bunch of small hardware. Let's grab the stepper motor and 3D printed mount first. Find the anodized aluminum base plate and the M3 screw that has the countersink on it. This screw matches up with the hole in the base plate so that the extruder arm can move past it smoothly. Next, find two M3 screws and use the two holes near the filament output to attach the base plate to the 3D printed mount. Attach the drive gear to the stepper motor and make sure that the drive teeth are in alignment with the filament outlet hole. You're also going to want to make sure the grub screw is positioned to make contact with the flat part of the motor shaft. Next, attach an M4 screw to the bottom of the base plate. Place the spring cap on top of the M4 screw. This will be used to adjust the tension of the extruder later on. Attach an M3 screw to the extruder arm. This will keep the extruder spring in place when everything is put together. The last step is a little tricky. We are going to find the longest M3 screw and the spacer that belongs in the pivot hole of the lever arm. You'll need to compress the extruder arm to make everything line up correctly and then tighten the M3 screw to attach the arm. The extruder kit includes a couple watchers, which I think are for the mounting holes if you have a thinner mount that you're trying to attach the extruder to. Thread a pneumatic fitting into the filament outlet hole. This is where our Bowden tube will be attached later on. And make sure to put the blue clip in a safe place. It should be placed on the fitting on the hot end side of the Bowden tube before you start printing to prevent any tube movement. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons 
before you go about the rest of your day, all that normal YouTube stuff. Happy printing.